This is a real quick video. This is in regards to some changes that Capital One made to their products and I'm pretty much going to put my emphasis on the building, rebuilding and fair credit products. Of course they have their unsecured Platinum MasterCard and the Quick Silver One Rewards MasterCard. And those two cards is for fair credit. And usually with those cards after you know five to six months of successful payments, they'll up your credit limit. Now they have some new products out in the secured landscape. We've seen other banks that started upping their game with the secured cards where you earn reward points. Capital One has made some changes. Of course, they always had the platinum secured card. But the difference with this card is you put up a $49 deposit to a $200 deposit range and you will receive a refundable deposit amount back and the card will go unsecured and the limit will increase now capital one has a new quicksilver secured rewards secured mastercard and with this card it's not only a secured card, but you earn 1.5% across the board with a $200 refundable deposit. You can also check this out on their website as well, but I just wanted to show this to you. You receive a refundable deposit, no hidden fees or automatic credit line review, zero fraud liability. It also lets you know how the security deposit works. You make your deposit, you can deposit more to raise your credit line, but I suggest you start out with even $200 or $500. Use your card responsibly, stay within your utilization, correct utilization, and stay within your credit limit. And over time, you'll receive your deposit back, and they'll upgrade your card to an unsecured Quicksilver MasterCard. Also, what I noticed on their website as well, they have a Saver One Rewards card for students. We earn 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, streaming, services and that grocery stores and 1% on all other purchases. They also have a new Quicksilver Rewards card for students where you earn 1.5% cash back on every purchase across the board. And both those student cards are for fair credit. So those are great to start out with. And of course, they have the Quicksilver Secured Rewards and the Platinum Secured Card. So those are two great cards to start out with. So I just wanted to share this with you real quick. And I'm very much a fan of Capital One. Yes, the pros they will take a chance and give you a chance to get started on your credit journey and the cons is at times the credit limit increases but I can not say it recently has gotten better because my player too has received the increase as I said my player too has received a credit limit increase on her Capital One Quicksilver MasterCard and I even had some friends recently received a credit limit increase without even asking on their Quicksilver card as well. Especially on the Quicksilver ones, I've noticed they give good credit limit increases. 
So I just wanted to share that with you. We design, we build, we claim.